Hey guys, it's me. I'm continuing on with this uh, back testing for the scalping system, and I wanted to show you something which is uh, um, a neat illustration of one of the problems in system building. So we've already started to rule out trailing stop based uh, um, algorithms because they're badly suboptimal. They're trailing behind everything else we've tested. So we're so we're down to fixed targets, and we're choosing a fixed target. Now, this is a uh, very early stage, um, just on the E-mini and just on a very one of the two setups that, that we're taking, maximum favorable excursion analysis. So this is how far the trade gets reasonably chosen at its maximum point before it starts to retrace so much that you'd, uh, that you'd get stopped out on any reasonably chosen algorithm. Now, what you can see here is that of these 17 trades, um, about 11 of them are over 2R. And we've got only 3 out of 17, so that's um, only 17% of them are these big winners. So it's going to be extraordinarily difficult to optimize for these three. So these ones, you just, honestly, you just got to forget about it. Now, the next thing to, uh, to have a think about is where is the optimal choice? So, um, That is a really difficult question. We're going to let the data decide. So obviously, when I've got you know a four or five hundred trade backtest, I can run, I can use these numbers to run a uh, um, a what if and see what would the um, what would the total R and what would the drawdowns have been if I chose different uh, if I chose different um, uh, um, targets. So right now I'm using a one point I'm using a one point one R title, which would have missed this one point oh six, but got all the others. So if I change that up to a two R target, which catches most of these, the we go from seventeen winners and five losers to eleven winners and eleven losers. So we get twenty two R from the winners, less eleven R from the losers. So we get eleven R. And right now at uh, at R. Uh, at 1.1 R by 17, we get equals. So we get 18.7 R minus 5 R, and that is a total of. Thirteen point seven R. So you can see that even it's counterintuitive, right? So a 1.1 R target, like a target here outperforms a target all the way here, which is really weird. Now, um, that's not entirely being honest, because you can also work a target where, uh, like a 2R target, but moving the stop to break even when it gets 1R. So what we have to do once uh, to test that back in time is to, is not not all of those 11 losers will be losers then, maybe, maybe three or four of them will be break even trades, and that'll uh, and, and that'll probably skew things to be about the same. So I haven't run the numbers yet, but of those uh, of those 11 trades, it's probably about likely that, that three out of these six, two or three at least, would have been uh, would have been stopped out for break even. And uh, and so that would probably put it almost exactly the same as you know, 11 plus two or 11 plus three is about 13.7. So one of the dirty secrets of system design is that almost any reasonably chosen, not idiotic exit algorithm will give you roughly the same R. And the only difference is really most times uh, the distribution of the drawdowns. So it's one of those situations where amateurs look at um, amateurs look at the total R and go, oh, 13.7 is bigger than 11 R, it's awesome. But um, professionals will be looking closely about drawdowns because don't forget our goal for this system is to have it profitable four out of every five days and so far it's performing better than that so 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 far um, you know that number has to go down it's at 80 percent now but um, my student Peter he's he's consistently running it at 75 percent in the real world with slippage and yeah everything's pretty positive so far so I'll keep I'll keep working I'm on a plane to Australia tonight I'll just try and chip away at it um, Daniel's uh, kicking ahead on doing the Euro US dollar. Um, so between us and uh, and Peter and uh, another one of my students is going to chip in and do the AUD USD soon. We're going to have a substantial big ask data set 
to uh, to back this up. All right, guys.